COVID is that there are things that we can do during another time of crisis, and climate change is one of those crises. So it means making sure there's good science to inform our public policy decisions. It's realizing that it's not an issue that you can deal with in isolation. It's, uh, we're so interdependent. So what other countries do matter as much as what we do, and we have to do it together. But also it's, it's the daily activities, you know, climate change and protecting the environment is about a way of life. It's, uh, there's no magic solution, you can't just say we've got a new chemical and we're going to be able to deal with problem X, Y or Z. And so it's, it's a mindset, it's, uh, it's a respect not only for the people that we live with, but also for the environment in which we live. And whether that's something simple as picking up garbage on the street, uh, or whether it's really taking a decision as to whether we're going to drive or whether we're going to take a bike ride or walk, for example, or use public transit, or whether it's a simple thing like remembering to turn off the lights in our house uh, to, uh, to reduce our use of electricity all kinds of things that we can do as individuals, but then all kinds of things we can do with our municipal governments, uh, showing up to express how, how sincerely we feel about the need to do things to protect the environment. Thank you very much. Thank You're you very, very much. Welcome. Yep. You're very welcome. Uh, so what, one, should, what should I do? One of the... Uh, we certainly have a lot of work to do, but we're happy to do that work and working with the community and everyone across the city of Toronto to, to drive a climate change agenda, whether that is upgrading our electrical grid to support electric vehicles or investing in higher order transit. Uh, or building safer streets to encourage pedestrianization and active transportation and cycling, encouraging people to shop local. And of course, one of the most sustainable things that we can do, which is live in the city. We run into challenges the further and further outside of the city we get, you know, paving over farmland, continuing to sprawl. One of the best things we can do for the environment, of course, is live in our cities. Uh, do you think the budget uh, allocated for climate change and environment, is it enough or not enough? Well, it's certainly something that we increase every year, so we're making bigger and bigger investments. We have a climate change plan called Transform TO. We fund that each year, adding more staff and more resources and more dollars to drive that agenda. But it's important to remember, you know, there is a climate change plan, Transform TO, but climate change and the way that we live more sustainably uh, really touches all of the big portfolios at the City of Toronto. You know, that, that's investment in transit, that's investment in active transportation, that's investments in, you know, of Toronto green building standards to make our buildings more efficient and also just having opportunities for people to live and work in the city. All of these things help support our climate agenda. All of these things help us live more sustainability. We're making those investments. We're making improvements, but we got a lot more work to do. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Yeah. Uh, by 2040 are very clear but what we're also noticing in in the private sector and then as we start moving forward um, the developments that are taking place um, looking at not only doing net zero but uh, net positive buildings I had a conversation with uh, a few people from the Rotman School a couple of weeks ago looking at how do we create Toronto's first net positive building um, yes we're looking at net zero we think it's, 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 we absolutely need to achieve that but I think we have to look beyond that you know, in a, in, a, in a really realistic timeline. So, and again, this is a, a policy that the city hasn't adopted. But I think we can be leaders, not only in the country, but in the world, at looking at how do we achieve net positive buildings within the city. So that's one of the things I'm hoping we're going to see over the next couple of years. But I think where we are right now, we're good, but we have to move forward a lot quicker. Uh, what do you think? How can the community people uh, help to mitigate uh, the climate change. Uh, Sorry, how, it's hard how, to hear. Yeah, uh, how can community to help uh, the uh, 
reduce the climate change impact? Well, you know, it's all about community. We as the policymakers can set the policies 